Well, hey, good morning, everybody. Hope you're doing well today. Happy Thursday to you, and um, hope you have just an incredible, incredible day today. And what a great way to kick off today, and that is celebrating the fact of what Christ has done for you and for me. And uh, that gives us great hope and peace, great hope and peace today. And um, I just want to remind you today of kind of what's happening this weekend at Water's Edge. I tell you, um, I'm super excited about tomorrow night. Um, Good Friday, you know, is happening um, for a service that we're doing at WEC. And I tell you, it's um, it's going to be absolutely incredible for you and important for you to be involved in that uh, for you and your family. And I know we're going to be celebrating one of the ordinances of the church, which is um, communion, the Lord's Supper. And uh, so make sure you join us tomorrow night. Um, it's just going to be a, a very special, sweet time together as a family, just you know, virtually. Um, but I want to encourage you to make sure you come to that. But also um, Sunday, you know, we got six services happening. And uh, so as you're thinking about your day, um, if you're not really quite sure what to do yet, well, I can tell you, number one is make sure you attend one of our services. It's going to be great. Um, we have six, I believe, happening. And it's at um, eight o'clock in the morning, 9 30, 11. And then we have a 6, 7, 30. And all of you late people out there that um, need to put the kiddos to bed and kind of maybe want to experience something special together or whatever your story is, you know, maybe that later service is good for you. That's at nine o'clock. So uh, we'd love to see you um, one of those services this weekend, as well as um, some of your friends that you want to invite and uh, need to invite. So anyway, today, um, I'm glad to be with you. And I just want to um, just remind you today about something in Matthew chapter 26. And I'm not going to read the entire the entire chapter today again, but um, this week we've been kind of focusing and camping out in different passages in that. And uh, Matthew 26, there is a section in there where, where Peter denies Christ not one time, not two times, but three times. You know, you think about that for a moment and, you know, we're kind of all familiar with Easter, with Good Friday, of, you know, what Christ is going to do. And of course, the, the victory that we have in him, of him rising up on Sunday. But um, what about Thursday? You know, if you think about for a moment back then, think about that kind of those few hours, several hours before the, the, the moment of him going to the cross of what he was experiencing. And Matthew 26 tells us, tells us what that's all about. And you're probably wondering, well, what does Jesus' denial have anything to do with the Easter story? has a lot to do with it because eventually, as Peter denied Jesus three different times, God would eventually do something in that situation where he would use Peter and end up building his first church. So maybe today, as you think about your life, think about the decisions you make every day. Maybe with your kids, your spouse, coworkers, um, you know, whatever the, whatever the situation is. Think about that for a moment and what would, what in your life do you find it most difficult to, to give over to Jesus? Like, what are situations in life where it's like, man, this is, I can't, this is hard for me to give up. So you kind of deny giving it up so you can hang on to it. And I think when we live in a life of fear, we tend to cling and hang on to things that we think are ours. And actually, there's nothing that's ours. Um, everything belongs to God. And so... The denial of Peter with Jesus is a great example for us to learn today that don't, don't allow the circumstances to determine your faith of giving things to God, knowing that he has it. Um, and don't, don't worry about tomorrow. Think about today. Think about what kind of conversations you have with your kids. Think about that walk you're taking around the neighborhood of uh, maybe God wants to do something different in your life and you're so busy and wrapped up and maybe you're anxious, maybe you're feeling pressure. Maybe you need to let that go, deny all that, give it to Jesus and say, hey, you know, I want to be who you're calling me to be. And I think sometimes in, in the circumstances we're living in, I think we can allow fear to, to, to override that. And so in the situation in Matthew 26 with, with Peter denying Jesus, he's like, Three different times, people were asking him, hey, weren't you with him? Hey, don't, and, and Peter's like, no, I don't, I don't know him. And then all of a sudden, you know, we know the rooster crows and Jesus predicted that at the very end of his, the third time he denied Jesus. And I, I tell you, I, um, 
there's times in my life where I'm like, man, I don't know if I can give this up or I don't know if I want to surrender this over and, and we get scared, and we get anxious. But today I want to challenge you on this Thursday before the Good Friday is let that burden go. Let that burden go and, and, and allow Christ to take that from you because he's waiting for you. He's wanting you to put it at his feet. And uh, don't think about what tomorrow is going to hold. Think about right now what God wants to do in your life. And um, watch what happens. It's going to be a good time. Um, it's going to be a good freeing. And um, you're going to have confidence in him to know that he's got it for you today. So um, that's my challenge for you today. And application, you're probably wondering, well, how can I apply this? Like, if you're going to take all of this and apply today, here's my application for you and for me, is think about that one thing that you're hanging on to, that you're denying Jesus to take. Like, you don't want him to take it. Whatever that one thing is, I want you to give it to him today. That one thing. Don't worry about five things, ten things. Just that one thing that you know is heavy. It's a heavy burden you're carrying. And you're denying giving it up because you're afraid what's going to happen. I want you to deny yourself. Give it to the cross of Christ of what he's done for you and watch what he does in your life. He's going to set you free, y'all. And um, that's my challenge today. So ask yourself that question and then give it up. Don't today, not, not tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow. What's going to happen next week? Just right now, Thursday morning. Well, you guys have an incredible day and um, we hope to see you um, again online today, tomorrow, this weekend and Sunday. Sunday's coming. It's going to be a great time. You guys take care. Have a great Thursday.